Screen blinding is a common issue in production facilities across the world. Let's look at the root cause of material blinding during the screening process. Screen blinding is the reduction of the percentage of open area on the screen clothing due to openings being plugged with material. A screen can blind through bridging or plugging. Material characteristics such as static, moisture, and near size percentage can also affect screen blinding. However, the most significant variable is the screen motion technology. Let's evaluate two motion technologies and their impact. First, we'll look at gyratory reciprocating motion. This motion has three stages to reduce bed depth and encourage screen deblinding. At the inlet end, the motion is gyratory, which stratifies material across the full width of the screen surface. The second stage turns to elliptical motion, which helps convey material down the length of the screener. The motion at the outlet end is linear or reciprocating. This motion settles the material, allowing it to more easily pass the screen and be conveyed off the surface. Gyratory reciprocating motion combines a long stroke and lower frequency of movement to create approximately two Gs of force within the screener, so the screen experiences more and stronger ball impacts. You can see the material burst from the ball impacts. Each impact dislodges the material from the screen, restoring the original open area and allowing more precise separations. Next, we see the round vibratory motion. The mesh cleaning ball movement in this type of screener is less drastic. There are fewer screen impacts due to a shorter stroke, a higher frequency of motion, and lost or displaced energy. With weaker overall protection, this equipment is prone to screen blinding for some materials. Gyratory reciprocating motion is more efficient. Running a simulation on both machines at full operational speed, using a clear screen surface and painted balls, gyratory reciprocating motion results in greater ball mesh contact per ball pocket. This simulation was run for one minute with five balls per pocket, each ball measuring one and three eighth inches in diameter. After one minute, the round vibratory ball pocket achieved 47% screen coverage, while the gyratory reciprocating motion achieved 85% coverage. With Rotex gyratory reciprocating motion, production facilities can reduce or eliminate screen blinding with more ball impacts, stronger force, and greater coverage, all of which results in the most precise separations.